Today I want to go over um, the variation of a lunge that we put on for our, all of our programming that as time goes on, the running joke in the area at all the different gyms that we have up here by me is that you can always tell my clients because in any class you do, they're like, oh, there's Jay's clients doing the rotational stuff with the lunges again. It's almost like it's became like a trademark for me. And you know, it's, it's, it's a joke and I take it in a good, in good uh, light. But the truth is, I've learned over the years that for a lot of people with their lunges, there's a couple truths where we all know that if you're trying to build a stronger backside, butt and hamstrings, right? You want to do squats, deadlifts, and lunges. And for lunges, it can be any variation. Forward lunges, reverse lunges, lateral lunges, walking lunges, they're all good. However, Everybody knows those are the exercises you should be doing, but very few people actually feel those exercises there. And usually what ends up happening, lunges become a, become a very quad-based exercise for most people that puts a ton of pressure on their hip flexor and a ton of pressure on the front of their knees. And regard, forget about the pain aspect of it, some people are just so tight that they can't even balance the exercise anymore because they're not utilizing their strongest muscles. I don't know if you remember from a couple of videos back, I talked about one of the methods we use for helping people to reactivate their glutes again, and it's by using the neighboring muscles to create tension and put you in a position where it's easier for that muscle to activate. Going through the lateral subsystem, all the muscles on the outside of your body, we do that via the outer quad and the lat, right? So typically what I'll do is when we're doing a reverse lunge, instead of just standing straight, going down and back, right? and I'm sure any of because I'm being lazy right now, typically what we'll do is we'll have our clients put a little bit of rotation because the fibers of your butt, the way your glute muscles design, your fibers run out on 45 degree angles, right? Which gives you an idea of how the muscle is supposed to be trained. So by putting these little rotational patterns into the, into the lunge, we're able to get deeper into the lunge, more activation of the glute, and you feel more activation of the backside, glutes and hamstrings, but if you also notice, look at my knee, right? I'm gonna pull my pants leg up so you can see my knee better. You can notice while most people do a reverse lunge, I'm gonna do it the way most people do it, not turning out my back foot and not spiraling through my hip. My head's gonna stay between the feet, my, my, it's gonna stay between my feet, right? They do this, where did my knee go? It kicked right in, right? Where if I flare my back heel out, heels away all day, what happens? Automatically I go head over foot alignment. Gold dot, green dot. My knee bows out, I load, the, I, load the, I load the bow, and I'm riding the rail of the outside foot. Now when I go to step back to my lunge, I'm able to get down nice and low, and I'm loaded. Look at that alignment. I'm all the tensions of my glutes in the outside of my quad. There's no pressure on my knee. My head's over the foot, and I'm ready to slingshot out of that position and take the next step. So, alternating reverse lunge with the coil, one of the tricks we use to help activate the lats is while doing that motion, because a lot of people have issues with the, Jay, I don't understand the coil part of it. What do you mean by squeeze your lats? We include a rubber band. So for the rubber bands, I'm gonna use one of the longer ones because these are the ones most people usually have access to. I'm gonna wrap it around my wrist and I'm just gonna wrap it once or twice with my other hand, take the excess out. Just so when I go to pull on it, I get a little bit of tension. Now, when I go to pull on this rubber band, I'm gonna coil, right? I'm gonna drive my elbows away and basically what I'm gonna do so I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together across the back side of my body, right? So my left elbow goes up, my right elbow goes down. That's going to help me squeeze and engage with my lat in the front so I can squeeze and pull with my shoulder blades. You see how I'm doing that motion right there? I'm coiling and then I'm pulling with the other arm to create tension like I'm trying to snap the rubber bands. And what I'm going to do, just for the sake of keeping the exercise easy, I'm going to do all on the right side first, I'm going to do all on the other side afterwards, right? I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna coil, I'm gonna step out of it. I'm gonna coil first, load that lat, and then I'm back up. I coil, and then I'm back up, right? I squeeze that elbow down, I pull on those shoulder blades, and it's gonna light up that glute, and it's gonna be so painless and so easy to balance, you see how I'm shifting head over foot. Then I would do the same thing for the other side, right? I would be here, I would squeeze, I would rotate down and back, and I'm gonna get, tighten the shoulder blades, right? Shoulder blades back behind the hips. My head's over my foot. My knee's bowing out, riding the rail, right? I'm gonna go from the side view. Look where my head goes. You can drop a line from the base of my skull down to the outside two bones of my foot. It's right in there. You see that? I can slingshot right out. So alternating reverse lunge with the coil, right? From behind. I'm gonna do one side, then the other side. I personally 
like doing all my reps on one side and then all my reps on the other side. So it gives me a chance to really focus on the right movement pattern. And then when I get proficient with it, I'll switch back and forth. But whatever works best for you is up to you, right? But the alternating, I'm here, right? I'm down, and then I'm back. A little more slack in that band. Heels away, my head's over my foot, right? I'm loading those glutes, and I'm slingshotting out and back. From the front view one more time, right? Load the coil, coil, lunge, return. Coil, lunge, return. I squeeze that lat first, then I drop down to the lunge. And by throwing those lats in there, it makes the exercise so much better to do. And you're gonna feel a ton of activation from the back of the quads, but what you're not gonna feel is all that pressure in the knee and all that pressure in the hip flexor where it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't do lunges. And also for any of you guys who have balance issue on lunges, you'd be surprised. Just by throwing that lat inside of there, it's gonna be so much easier to balance with your lunging based exercises. You're actually gonna find yourself wanting to do them more and more again. And like I said, right now we're using the rubber band as a training aid, training aid to help remind us how to pull and activate to those lats because if you don't use the lat, you're not getting the tension on the band. Eventually it'll get to the point where you won't even need to do the coily motion with your arms because you're gonna be so used to just engaging those lat muscles as you go and coiling, you can hold your dumbbells if you wanted to, right? You can keep your arms free. I can even do my walking lunges, right, where no rubber band involved. I got my lats engaged and I'm squeezing without the use of the rubber band because I've trained my body to do it so many times, I can do it in my sleep now. But the rubber band is gonna be a great way to keep you conscious of either what's happening or not happening with those lats. So you can take one of the best exercises we have for building power strength and toning the legs and bring it back into your routine. So that's all I have for this one. Like always, hopefully you guys got some value out of it. If you did, I just ask that you put a couple likes on it, maybe share with a friend or two, maybe tag somebody in there that you think can really benefit from this exercise because at the end of the day, it helps us out with the algorithms and that helps us get out to more people and help more people. I just said more people twice, but you know where I'm going with that. Great job today, guys. Like I said, take it, work it into your routine. And if you're having trouble with this exercise, like I always say, reach out to myself so either me or somebody from my team can get back to you and give you the advice you need to take this exercise, integrate it to your routine and help get you to the next level. Guys, thanks for tuning in today. See you in the next one.